guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new then hi my name is kira i'm 16 years old and i'm mother to this little fatty right here his name's oscar if you were new and he is 11 weeks old which is crazy he's grown up so fast but anyways so today i thought i'd talk through 10 baby names that i love but won't be using um or like obviously haven't used um so I've got a list of 10, 10 names, 5 girls and 5 boys, so I'm just going to alternate between girl and boy, so I'm just going to get started. So um, hopefully this video either um, helps people decide their baby's names and like may, they might just you might just hear a name and be like, that's my child's name, I love it, or maybe you might just want to add it to your list of potential names, I don't know. But these are the top 10 names that I really like excluding the two names that I want to use for future children which I have spoke about in a different video so I'm gonna get started so I'm gonna start the first one off with a boy's name so um one of my baby names that I won't be using which is a boy's name yeah first baby boy name that I really like is Mateo now I don't know why I just love the name Mateo I think it will suit like everything and Mateo is from Italy, Ita it's Italian I think, and it means gift of God, which I think is such a lovely meaning to a name, like I just love it, it's so precious, it's so like, I don't know, I just think Matteo will go with everything as well, and it's such an unusual name, so like you can go to school and like no one would have it as far as I'm aware, like I've never met a Matteo, so um, yeah, I really like the name Matteo. Now, the next one for a girl is Harriet. Now, I love this name because I love the shortened down version, Hattie. I just think it's so cute, like, a little girl called Hattie, like, but Harriet is a full name. Like, I just love it. I don't know why. I don't know the meaning of Harriet, so if anyone knows the meaning of Harriet, then please tell me because I want to know what the meaning of Harriet means. But I really love the name Harriet. It's also a name that you don't come across a lot, but you, but it's not too, un it's not too unusual to for people to be like that's a weird name like harriet i just think it's such a beautiful name now the next one is zane now i wouldn't if i used this name i personally wouldn't know how to spell it like the way that i would want it i wouldn't know how i'd want to spell it but there's like quite a few like ways to spell it like you can spell it like z a n e z a i n z a y n yeah you can so there's so many ways um but the name Z zane means handsome and i just think like a little boy like called zane and then like the meaning of his name being handsome like it's just so sweet i don't know it just i just love it and i think it would go really not well with oscar but i already have a different name which i want to go with oscar so yeah so the third name is for a girl and this is aria now the reason why i like this name is because when I went to um, my work experience in year 10 last year, um, I worked in the nursery and there was a little girl called Aria and she was the cutest thing ever. And ever since that day, like I've always loved the name Aria and it's just like so, so adorable. But because I only want one girl when I'm older, um, I just didn't, I preferred the other girl named over Aria but if I do end up with another girl Aria is definitely gonna be the second choice because I think it's such a beautiful name. My third boy's name is Carter now I just can imagine like a little boy like just running around called Carter I don't know why like I think it's such a cute name for both like a young like a young baby um he's looking at something but I don't know what but I just think Carter is such a cute name and it goes with like all ages because I'm one of the people that think certain names only go with certain ages and that sounds really bad but like I don't want to like offend anybody but like you can't really imagine like a baby being called Steve or something or like Patricia do you know what I mean like it's just like names like that that just don't suit the younger generation as a baby but suit the older generation as an older adult if that makes sense but um, I just think Carter is like an all around, like every age name and it's so cute. Now, then the third girl's name is another H, it's Harper. Um, I don't know why I like Harper. I just think it is quite unusual. 
um, because I don't know anyone called Harper and I don't know of anyone who knows anyone that makes no sense. So I don't know anyone called Harper, so it's quite unusual to me. Um, but it's not, again, too unusual that no one would have a clue how to pronounce it or how to spell it or anything. So I just think it's that, like, in-between name that you can get away with being the only one in your year or only one in your school, but also everyone knowing how to say it and spell it. Because I know for a fact that having, like, a, like, a name is very, like, mis used kind of thing and that's like my worry for oscar because obviously his name is spelled with a k obviously you can't really pronounce his name any other way but if he says like yeah my name's oscar they'll spell it with a c automatically and i hate that for myself because i know when i say my name's kira i always have to say k-e-i or i say kira with e-i because most people spell kira i-e so k-i-e-r-a instead of my spelling so i know that's annoying so i just think harper's that like name that no one will get wrong either. The next name is Jackson. Now I love this name, but I pre I prefer the spelling with an X instead of this like instead of Jackson because I don't want I don't like it shortened down to Jack or anything because I feel like that's such a common name and I know so many Jacks um in like my year and other years and it's just crazy. So I prefer Jackson with an X only because it's a bit more unique and um different than the spelling with a CK and you can't really shorten that down to Jack really. The fourth girl name that I love is Stella and this is um Latin for star and I just love the name Stella. I had a cat called Stella when I was younger and I just love it and I just think it's so like unusual because you don't really come across this, the name Stella and um, as I said it's meaning for star so I just think it's such a cute name and it goes with my last girl name as well quite well so it's just like they'd be really cute as twin names to be fair and then the last boy's name is very unusual I've never heard of this before like from anyone and it is Lynx so obviously um this is in the like fox and wolf category because obviously some people call their child wolf or fox and stuff um but i just think lynx is a lot more manly and more proud than just wolf or fox like it's a lot more like vicious if that makes sense in the nicest way kind of thing like i just love the name lynx um and i've never ever ever met anyone with the name lynx or even heard of anyone with the name lynx so i just think it's such an unusual name and um it's just really special to be fair because as i said no one you you'd literally be the only lynx like in your school but then the last name and the last girl's name um that goes well with stella is luna um, now, the reason why it goes on Stella is because it's Itali um Luna is Italian for moon. So obviously you've got the behinding of um, Stella, which is star, and then Luna, which is moon. And I love the name Luna so much. I think it's such a, like, a gentle name and such a, like, a girly, like, um, proper feminine name. And I just love it so much. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I don't really know how to do these type of videos whatsoever. I don't know what to talk about, so... I just kind of rambled and just said the same thing over and over again for every single name. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please do subscribe and click the bell notification and follow me on all my social medias down below um, for updates between me and Oscar, who is currently passed out. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye!